Hi guys, Agrippa Maxenis here, coming at you with an actual tutorial request from somebody uh, in my uh, actual friends list, which is really, really nice of them. I really like it when people come forward with CK2 tutorial requests. Now what I'm going to be going over is something that seems fairly di simple, but can actually be a little bit complex to sort of get started, and that is the School of Cardinals. How do you get your cardinal, or particularly your bishops, uh, to become a cardinal and one day become pope? Well, what you want to do is you want to go to the last button here in the upper top right that says religion. You click that. And now above Pope Felix V, you should see a little bishop's hat, which says the College of Cardinals. We're going to go ahead and apply our, we're going to apply that. And you can see here in the College of Cardinals the different factions represented. Now, over, overall, in this particular game, I have little to no chance of ever becoming elected or ever becoming elected Pope. And the reason being, you can see that, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six out of the eight cardinals, or out of the nine cardinals, excuse me, are Teutonic Order, which means that Teutonic Order cardinals are, the, are generally going to elect a Teutonic Order Pope. Um, and as you can see, the Preferatus is the cardinal that will next be selected as Pope. Um, now, depending on the Preferatus age, he may or may not ever become Pope. He may die before the Pope dies, etc. Um, so in this case, the guy that is going to be Preferatus is a member of the Teutonic Order. And that goes to show you that when you are in the College of Cardinals, you want to get as many of your Cardinals into the College of Cardinals as possible. Once you get a majority of Cardinals, they will vote your Cardinal in as Pope for the next election. Now, the Pope can only be elected once the old Pope dies. Uh, one of the things you can do here is, as you can see, my best cardinal candidate, once you go under to the 787, it's, you can see that his opinion with the Pope is 266, his secular power is plus 10, um, his opinion of legions is 191, and these are all the opinions of him on other, about other people that give him basically the leeway to become a cardinal one day. Unfortunately, Herbert here of the Teutonic Order has a bit more of a cardinal appointment score, about 300 more, and what we can do to, or more like 220, uh, what we can do to increase our chances of winning here is we can go to the campaign fund, and if you have money to spend, what you want to do is you want to increase that campaign fund, and as you can see, Alan, our bishop, uh, his actual campaign fund is going to increase, and his chances of being elected bishop are going to, are, 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 excuse me, being elected cardinal are going to increase dramatically. Now, you guys have to realize that the only people that can actually become cardinals are bishops themselves. Um, those are the only people that can become cardinals. You know, obviously just a regular parish priest is not going to be good enough to be a cardinal. In this case, however, we're going to increase the campaign fund. And just to show you guys that the expected next cardinal is going to be Alan. Now, unfortunately, you can only do this with one guy at a time. And as you can see, Alan is 58 years old. So even if he is elected as cardinal, it's unlikely he's going to last very long. But you want to just keep doing this. And hopefully in the next cardinal election, uh, when one of these cardinals dies, uh, Alan will be replacing him, and we're just gonna, you want to continue doing that until you have more or less more Cardinals than any other um, country, and once that happens, once you're able to do that, that Pope will do whatever you want. You can declare crusades wherever you see fit, uh, he's gonna be, he's gonna allow you to get divorces easily, you know, things are gonna come a lot easier in the game for you, so I definitely suggest that if you have the money in-game, definitely look into becoming a Cardinal, definitely look into increasing uh, your cardinal status and basically taking over the papacy and that's what I try to do every time so thanks for watching this video guys and I hope it helped